Hello everybody, I am Fedora Gamer, and it's time for another episode of Is It Fun, where we take a look at games and try to answer the most important question about any video game. Is it fun? Today we're looking at Jazz Punk by Necrophone Games and published by Adult Swim Games. What is Jazz Punk? Well, it is completely batshit crazy, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about one major negative of this game right off the bat. Let's go ahead and go in the options, and it's pretty bare bones. Gamepad sensitivity? This is a PC. What's going on here? Let's look at video settings. Not much. It, it's pretty much the Unity preset settings. And at least we got V-Sync. Again, this isn't a fast-paced FPS, so you can get by with these bare-bones settings. But what I really don't like is controller controls is 360 controller. There this is a PC game it this these settings and these control settings look like this is a half-assed console port except for this game doesn't exist on consoles as of yet as far as I know I don't know if it ever will but you have no controller setting or keyboard settings no list of your keyboard controls and uh, no rebindable keys that's kind of terrible actually and this actually affects me considerably in the game, which I'll show you here a little bit later. With that said, let's go ahead and start a new game, and you can watch the completely crazy intro to Jazz Punk. <laughs> While we watch the intro, what is Jazz Punk? Well, I would I would call it, it's like a point-and-click adventure, kind of. And that's about the closest thing I can... Well, point-and-click adventure with mixed with WarioWare crazy mini-games. And that's about the best way I can describe Jazz Punk. It, otherwise, it really defies description. It is a completely balls-to-the-wall, batshit crazy game. In a wonderful way. As you'll see here shortly in this intro. Colors! Oh, by the way, if you have like epileptic seizures, you probably shouldn't watch this video or play this game. I'm just going to say that out loud here. Maybe a little late, you might already be having a seizure. Uh, my bad if that's the case. It's not too bad now, but it'll get a little crazier later in the intro here. What's going on in the intro? I don't know. Things, you're going, you're a suitcase, person-shaped suitcase going through some uh, airport security, perhaps? And bright flashing colors. Very retro 50s. Actually, the setting of this game is kind of cyberpunk, yet it 50s. It reminds me a lot of 50 Flights of Loving, actually, for the setting wise, besides all the cyberpunk stuff thrown in. But it's like retro electronic cyberpunk. I, I call this game Retro Cyberpunk. That's the setting. I'm trademarking that. Retro Cyberpunk TM. It's definitely extremely unique. And we are coming to the end here shortly of our little crazy intro. Oi, my eyes are flipping out. Alrighty. So apparently we just came out of this suitcase. The only way to travel. And we are at some, what looks like a kind of train station mostly a band train station we have a box here that makes weird noises yes you're just a box you'll find a lot of just random stuff around in this game sit down honey the director will be right with you there's something wrong with your voice lady but the, here press a to sit down i'm not using a controller here let me press a on the controller you know what that does that moves me to the left it's actually E. It's the standard first person controls W A S D mouse click cycle through mouse wheel to cycle through inventory once you have some inventory E to uh, activate items to use something space to jump all that. We can go ahead and look at these magazines here. This game has a lot of old tech references. Well, he can wait. Damn it. And uh, let's, let's see. Playbot. Look at those things going in those things. That's just dirty. Okay, we can go in and see the director now. We are some kind of spy. Oh, I will say, we've much business to discuss. 
Really? Really? Come on, you didn't even hide it. But you have no choice. Oh yeah, you do have a choice. You can play this little uh, pointless mini game. And oh god, he's actually putting his mouth. That, oh, that's wrong. Blech. Gross. Okay, fine. We'll sit down. Basically, we need you to infiltrate the Soviet consulate. They've taken some of our important technology, and it's imperative that we get it back in the right hands. As per usual, here's your mission or subscription. Mission or subscription. Don't take too many. <laughs> If you need me, I'll be in the wine cellar. Wait, wait, what? Okay, well, stand up. Wine cellar, my ass. You're taking a nap under your desk. I'm glad I'm not the only one that likes to curl up under my desk and take a nap. I'll walk on you. Okay. Anyway, you take some pills to go to your mission. It, it, don't ask me. I don't know. Anyway, you take one capsule every mission or until... Reality is sufficiently augmented. So these are some augmented reality nanobot pills? Maybe. We'll go ahead and pop a pill. And then pass out, apparently. And that is Jazz Bunk. And we're here. So I don't... I don't get the storyline exactly. I hope you like superimposed text, though, because this game does that a lot. It's really... Well done, though. But it fits into the game's story. You're in augmented reality, so you have augmented reality text, uh, apparently? I don't know. So, I guess you're passed out in some kind of... connected to some kind of uh, network? Internet type thing? In a very virtual reality, augmented reality way, and you're still... your body is still in that guy's office, apparently? I don't know. But this game is, it's a comedy game. It's all about the comedy. There it, hello, what are you doing? Wait, where'd you go? How are you hiding behind a paper cutout tree? That makes no sense. And that's the theme of this game. It makes no sense. There is a lot in this game. You can go very quickly and do the primary mission and it won't take very long but in the every little hub area you should go around and looking for the jokes there's all kinds of side missions and gags and things you can find where most games just give you like right, items okay fine we'll clean off your face most games give you items or experience or arbitrary achievements and trophies and collectibles for side missions. Okay, I love you. Bye -bye. This game, your goal, your reward for finding the side missions is more jokes. It's all about the jokes, and I can respect that. What is this guy over here doing? I've played a little bit of this. A big warning. Can if I you want, you in if you're interested in this game, everything in this video is a spoiler. So you should just go buy the game if you don't want anything ruined for you. I'm going to play as very little of this game as possible just to give you an idea about it, but I'm not going to play very deeply into the game. It is not a very long game. Anyway, let's see what this guy wants. I've played this area before, but I didn't go and find everything. Alright, give me, give me some gum. How nice of you. My eyes. <laughs> that scream. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Just walk it off. Just walk it off. Okay, so we'll just go around and... Man, I didn't see this before. Xerox Park, huh? What, what's happening? Alright, okay. Wait, we have a phone here? Ah, oh, a hint line. 555 hint. Oh, I'm not gonna mess with that. Let's see what we can do with the phone here. Now, okay, this this is a good example of what I was talking about. It's press, and there's a lot of uh, little mini games that have this problem. Press B to exit, which is B on a control pad. I apparently I found it. I don't know what I hit though. I tried for ten minutes earlier to figure out what B equal on the keyboard to exit something without actually. I, I have not been able to figure out how to exit something. Without actually like doing something that forces you to exit by activating the little puzzle or finishing it. 
Really? It's space? I swear to God I tried space a hundred times. Okay. Jump button is to exit those, but that highlights a big problem. As I was trying to figure out for five minutes earlier what button equaled controller B to try to get out of these little mini game prompts. I don't know how I didn't figure out it was space. I swear that didn't work earlier. But that really highlights the problem with the fact that this game has is all controller you know, controller controls, controller button prompts, no keyboard controls listed in the options at all, no rebindable keys. That's not really acceptable on a PC game, especially when this isn't even a console port. Okay. As you can see, every time you get uh, do something with the, the finger thing, the, the finger gets left behind. The finger on a stick. So we'll just keep doing that. Let's get a good old pile of fingers going here. There you go. Big old pile of fingers. Alright, let's look around for more of the entertaining things here. Oh, what does this guy have? Do you have the MacGuffin? Come back when you've got the MacGuffin. Pick me up a MacGuffin and a coffee. The hell's a MacGuffin? Do you have the MacGuffin? No, I don't have the MacGuffin. Let's go over here. Buddy, you're my way. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I'm a horrible person. Just, just, I'm okay. Okay, good, good. Just block it off. You might, you might want to get off. The, okay. Just take a nap there. That's fine. It's a very kind of linear game. There's all these open areas to go find stuff, but they're rather small so far. Like this, you can't actually jump over. Uh, most of these buildings you can't get in. Closed for no reason. Okay, that makes perfect sense. How about you? Good job. Okay, jackal. Nothing there. The guys that are just playing black silhouettes usually don't have any interaction. It's the the characters that actually, you know, have character to them. No, I didn't, crazy hobo. You don't have a jetpack. You gotta get your own peanut butter. I don't want your peanut butter. The government. <laughs> okay. You gotta look behind you. Oh, it, really? <laughs> this game's a lot about cartoons. This game is just all about the laughs. This, it's, it's all about the laughs. Uh, and random. Completely random, not knowing what to expect around every corner like this. Here. Yeah, oh, hey, we got a pizza box. With numbers on the pepperonis. And, oh, hey, we are in a virtual reality pizza zombie survival game thing. Hey, well, we're actually walking on pizza. I just noticed that. We got literally pizza zombies. They're literally made out of pizza. So we'll beat them with this pizza spatula paddle oven thing. Yeah, die, 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 die. I wanna <laughs> just keep on rolling. Hey, we get a pizza cutter too. I'm gonna cut chunks of the pizza, the pizza zombies off. They can hurt me, but I don't know if I can actually die in this. Okay, just just eat paddle. And they explode into pizza topping gore. And just random mini games like this for no good reason other than it, this game is batshit crazy. Oh, you have a face. Kind of a terrifying face. Is that kiwi on the pizza? That ain't right. That's just weird. Wait, you guys despawn? Okay, pizza zombies. Back up. You're pizza zombie boss. You're dead now. We got a typewriter. All pizza and no pizza makes Jack a dull pizza. All pizza and no pizza makes a pizza, 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 pizza. Okay, I'm not going to try to read that. All right, a little creepy, a little random, but we beat the pizza mini game, <laughs> and that's jazz punk in a nutshell. Just random bullshit for no good reason other than this game is just for shits and giggles. We have Robo Hooker. I don't know what that means. Am I turning you on? A little. I reboot when I want. You know, I tried online dating, but I couldn't find it a penis match. It's for a dollar, huh? <laughs> oh, you. You're a 
cheap Hi. robo whore. Sweetie. Hey, that reminds me. There's this uh, jazz player over here that you can jack some money from. See, I'm finding things I didn't realize the first time I played this a little bit ago. Let's see if this works. Do the developers really think people will try this? They should have known people will try this. Go. That was terrifying. Uh, was that a robo hooker lap dance? I, I don't want to know what actually was going on there. Uh, my genitals are afraid. Let's not do that again. Uh, what do you got for me? Take this decal, sir. Use it to scramble three carrier frequency pigeons. Hit each pigeon three times in order to degauss it. Okay. And as you can see, that is uh, absolutely a side quest. I wonder what this does to people. Hmm, degaussing, degaussing people is uh, strange. Let's see what this does. Doesn't bother you? Oh. All right, I'll stop doing that, you dirty robo hooker. Whoa, are you crazy? I am crazy. Oh yeah, I did pick up that money, so let's go. Let's go steal more money. This is something you can do with money. Whoa, are you crazy? Oh hey, look at this. It, the humor go it ranges from s just mindless slapstick like that. Uneventful news day seizes the nation, and moon explodes on page 63. That's okay. It, it ranges from just mindless slapstick to really dark sometimes, actually. And this game has made me laugh. Player sexually harasses news box. I will keep sticking my things in you, Newsbox. Newsbox files for restraining order. Oh, I'm, I wonder how deep this rabbit hole goes. I just keep this jazz player doesn't really care that I stole his money. President calls robot leprosy a good thing. All right. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the gossing tool. We gotta find us some pigeons. Anything interesting in this little... Hey, what do we got here? Uh... Placebex. Ultra Strength. Sure, let's pop a pill. Never take Placebex after taking Missional. Uh... Um... I might die. What do you... Hey, Giant Tool, let's degosh you. Nobody saw that. Just walk away. Just walk away. Okay, let's find... Hey, there's a pigeon. Oh, bloody pigeon. Hold still. One pigeon down. Hey, what's this? Pigeon pheromone. Alright. What is this side quest? I, I haven't finished the other side quest, but let's see what this side quest is right Find now. The mailbox marked with chalk on the side. Okay. We will receive further instructions from there. We are everywhere in underwear. No, wait. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. And then I'd have to resurrect you. Alright. So we gotta find a mailbox. That degauss pigeon's got issues. No way. Now. <laughs> there you go. What do we have here? Oh, don't, don't eat a sandwich out of the trash can. That ain't right. There's a lot not right about this game. Anyway, let's try to finish our pigeon degaussing. Hey, here's that uh, E equals MC square, huh? There's a man in the park sitting on a bench. Deliver this package to him. Oh, this must be the MacGuffin. Okay, I have your MacGuffin, sir. Get distracted from the side quest I was doing for this side quest that I'm now doing. Hey, there's our pigeon. I'll get you in a minute. Let's uh, let's bring him his MacGuffin, whatever the hell a MacGuffin is. Have a seat, but keep your eyes forward. Locate the newspaper box marked with a piece of chewing gum. All right. Hey, I saw you. 
is I wonder if this new pair, newspaper box that was uh, giving me grief for sexually harassing him. It, her, I don't know. What is the gender of a news box? Not this one. Gum, chewing gum. I can't remember what he said the mark was. I already did mess with you. Yeah, yeah, get a job. Yeah, so I don't have your pigeons yet. Give me a second. What do we have in this trash can? A jazz puck NES cartridge. Cool. There you are. You're almost there, Agent. Go to the Raytheon Motel. Knock on the door using the secret knock. Shaving a haircut. Knock correctly, and you'll be let inside. Alright, I didn't do this one. I don't know where the hotel is, though. So, I need a hotel. It's buffer. Blah, blah, blah. Those are apartments. Fusion chips. That's not it. This is it. Oh, oh yeah. Trash can guy. Uh. Got this milk van over here that's so clearly just a shortly. milk van. I want to finish this little side quest before we call it quits with this mo or the, the movie, this video. Movie? Oh, I'm pretentious. Well, that was interesting. I don't remember what it said the name of the hotel was. Was it Kilotron Hotel? Well, we'll find out, I guess. This hotel? I don't know. Well, that was a weird noise. I don't know. There it is. I actually have to knock it out, huh? Well, I kind of screwed up, but it worked. Congratulations, you've made it. All right. And this carrier frequency pigeon possesses top secret information. We need you to smuggle it into the next level by any means necessary. All right. Don't let us down. This trench coat's made of the finest bald eagle pelts. Oh, well, that's not right. Okay, give me the pigeon. Well done. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Oh god, I I ate the pigeon. <laughs> oh, I, I I don't think I want to go to the next level and figure out how he gets that back out. I like how it breaks the fourth wall. Next level. Anything else interesting up here? Hey box, you you anything? No. Okay. Well that's that side mission. Side quest super secret and that this game has a lot of stuff that's hidden that you have to go out and find to find all the the jokes this game has all the jokes so I think we should wrap this video up I don't want to spoil too much of the game for you this is released on Steam the link to it will be in the description but let's do our wrap up thumbs down really the only bad thing I had to say about this game is that the half-assed options and controller controls only no keyboard controls no worries to tell you what your keyboard controls are and no rebindable controls. That just doesn't pass on a PC game like this. That's a pretty big negative in my opinion. Positive. Um, it's crazy. It's a very interesting retro cyberpunk setting. It's funny. It's crazy. And did I mention it is crazy dipped in crazy covered in crazy sauce. Give it, despite the technical issue I have with the control and the options, this game is goddamn wonderful. If you don't like this game, you have no soul. If you don't laugh playing this game, you have no soul. Go go buy it. it it's wonderful. The only other complaint I kind of have about it is it's not very long. It's $15. It's 20% off right now for its launch sale. You can actually... It, Two, two to three hours is all all the longer it is. And you can burn through the game faster than that if you just go right for the main missions. 
I'm not going to consider that negative because I think the experience of this game is worth the asking price, but some may dislike the fact that it's $15 and is rather short. I say it is an experience that is well worth the money. Believe in yourself. I do believe in myself. Best friends forever. It's kind of creepy sounding. Right away you sleep at night. All right, I'm going to back away slowly now. Creeper, you're creepy. <laughs> anyway, this has been Jazzpunk. The links will be in the description. I've been Fedora Gamer. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.